Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Look, I say I was going to make another makeup look last night when I came home for my day, but I was too tired. I had a headache. And I needed to get a good laugh in. So, um, it was a lot of faces I haven't seen in a long time. And I was hoping I get to catch up with them. Because I started to notice a lot of people coming back to my neighborhood, you know, on some reunion type mess. And there's one person that I saw in particular that I remember since I was in my early 20s. He came back. Um, he looks good, though. I ain't gonna lie. So I woke up with a headache this morning. And after I finish eating, I'm going to do another makeup look. I promise y'all. So supposedly I was supposed to be doing this vlog three days a week. I always say it, I wanted to do it at the end of the week where there's not much hectic stuff going on when I'm not busy. And I wanted to just start a whole new chapter in my life. After I've been going through so much hell within the last three months, I wanted to change something up and see how that goes. And with my life taking a turn that it is, because I thought that things was dying down and that I didn't have to keep, you know, looking for further things, like looking further for anything. I found myself to be doing it again, like, and I'm not supposed to be looking for anything. So that's why I chilled out for so long. Um, it hasn't even been a month yet, but it felt like it was forever because this is the only way I could connect with peoples and doing this blogging is like having another virtual diary, you know, and this being my personal virtual diary, I wanted to let y'all know what was going on with me and to give me some advice, but since y'all don't want to give me no advice about anything, I just had to wing it out to see how things would go, you know, forward and find different ways to cope with my stress and my depression. So I started going back to makeup and I remember makeup and cooking was one of the things that helped me cope with my depression. It made me feel a lot better. Trying out different hair colors, um, doing different makeup looks, going shopping. Those was my therapy, you know, it calms me down, makes me feel a lot better. And by me doing my makeup, it not only makes me look beautiful, but it does make me feel beautiful on the inside out. So I started changing up a lot of stuff. I'm changing up my routine, I'm changing up my style, everything. So this is for my personal need and it helps me to personally grow. And I want y'all to see me grow as I grow my channel. So with that being said, I hope y'all really do like what y'all see. I'm no longer going to ask anybody for y'all advice or opinion. If y'all want to give it, then that's fine. If not, oh well, because it seems like y'all just like to look, but y'all don't like to say nothing. And I don't know if y'all are doing this because y'all think y'all going to hurt my feelings or what. But I'm a big girl. I could take it. Like I've been taking a lot of criticism for the last couple of years. So this is nothing new, but I just needed some type of, you know, help and support because with some of the things I'm doing with my life, I do need a moral support. And as far as help goes, I do need your advice. I do need some people's advice because there are some heavy ass questions that I have and my situation, what was going on with me in the past, I really needed somebody's advice on something. You know, because I was quick to want to react to a lot of shit. And I was like, but I want to see from another person's point of view or what this would be like or how you would solve this and that. So that was just some of the reasons why I wanted y'all to respond. So when I keep saying comment below, I'm seriously letting y'all know it's okay to comment below. And it's all about having conversations and connecting with people and see if y'all have a lot in common or see if y'all could have a decent conversation. 
This is why we have this typical stereotype of black peoples that we don't know how to have conversations with each other. We don't know how to debate. We don't know how to do anything with each other, only show violence with each other. And this is not what we need to be doing. We don't need a stereotype on us. And sadly, a lot of people don't even notice that. And some that do notice it, they don't care. So I was like, please, let's stop giving people reasons to think this about us and to assume that we're the most dangerous people on this planet because I know we're not. And stereotypes of, stereotypes of a woman, that needs to be shut down as well. Because I heard a lot of stuff about how guys feel like they cannot have a conversation with a woman. Like they can't have anything special with a woman. And it's not true because one, every action is a reaction. When there's a reaction, then you know it's time for you to, you know, rethink some things, straighten up, and stall over again. And one thing I wanted to prove my point about is the... Okay, the conversation I had with somebody a while back, they feel like they cannot talk to me on certain levels. And this is when I started to like cringe on a lot of things because I know this every time I have a conversation with somebody and it goes the wrong way, that guy will become so defensive and so aggravated. It's not even funny. And then the fact that he really does take his anger out on me and then try to prove a point by yelling and saying all these damn crazy things yeah it's crazy but enough about that let's switch the subject so in about an hour y'all gonna see me do my new makeup of the day i'm heading back out um I'm not doing nothing major today, just be hanging around the block. Um, want to get my cardio in, so I'm going to be doing a lot of work walking today. Um, and let's just see where my feet takes me. Let's see where things go. If things go the right way, then I might end up in the right place at the right time. Let's just see. Hey, y'all. Uh, so I just got out of my dermatologist appointment. Yo, I'm sitting here laughing my ass off. You won't believe this. Why is my dermatologist crushing on me? He was sitting here literally checking my body out, checking my legs, like trying to see in my dress. I cannot stop laughing. I swear, it is so funny. So I'm sitting here, minding my business, and the doctor was sitting here. He was like, oh, how you doing? Checking my arms out, checking everything out. Yeah, Trying to act like he was checking my arms out when he was really checking my legs out. I was like, ah. I was like, doctor, you are married. You can't be checking me out. Uh-uh-uh. No. This has to be one of the funniest things ever. Why is my dermatologist just checking me out? Why is he like he's crushing on me? I must have turned him the fuck on like in the quickness. Just the way I look alone. I was like, damn, now I could honestly confidently say that I am that bad bitch. I'm a good looking person. Okay, so I'm back home. I just got back home like five minutes ago, but I couldn't really say much because everybody would be looking at me like I'm crazy. But seriously, why my doctor is lusting after me, my own doctor? Like, this is crazy. I bet you I never hear nothing like this before. I never seen nothing like this, yo. I'm like, am I tripping? Or is this dude look like he want to slap it, flip it, and rub it down on me? I'm sitting here laughing. I've been laughing from the time I got out the um, dermatologist's office to now. And I'm sitting here like, doctor, like, you're married. <laughs> Don't lust after me. Because I was like, as much as I want to get all up in your shit, I can't. You're married. 
And I'm like, and he is fine. Yo, my dermatologist doctor is fine as hell. And I'm glad he's a guy. But he is fine. And he has a little Spanish up in his ass. He's Spanish. I think he's like part black, part Spanish. Well, he is the finest mitt man I ever seen in my motherfucking life, yo. I was like, damn, this is one this is the one doctor that's actually attractive that's taking care of my skin the one i've been talking about for months about thanks to him my skin is like looking good it's because of him and now that i'm looking good and i'm dressing better he's over here checking me out i was like what the fuck i was like my doctor he is feeling me and I swear to God, if that nurse wasn't in that room with us, he would have probably slapped it, flipped it, rubbed it down. He would have probably done every freaking unholy shit you could think of. Because this dude, he's feeling me. And I started noticing him liking me from like two months back. When I started changing up the way I started to look. Started to show my confidence through my skin and my attitude and everything. He started to notice. And I was like, hold up, so that's the look. That's the look of a guy that knows a female that is looking good, that's confident, that's feeling good about herself. And he always tells me how beautiful I am. He's always complimenting me on everything from head to toe. And I'm sitting here like, thank you. I never get no compliments from any doctors in my life. And no matter how good I might look to that person, they won't say nothing. You have a lot of people out here who are very faithful in their marriages and then you got some people like him who's not <laughs> and I was sitting here like yo I never laughed so hard like this in my life about a doctor so I'm sitting here like I'm not tripping right I can't be tripping I'm saying to myself you're not tripping he likes you and I was like damn but I was like if you wasn't married you would have got my number you would have been at my house you would have been able to slap it, flip it, and rub it down. You would have, would have been able to be mine. You would have been doing everything. So I'm sitting here like, yo, you got to calm that down, yo. Like, I got to sit here like, calm down. Now I got to sit here and not think about this shit anymore because this is very overwhelming. It's crazy. And I'm like gushing because I didn't really know like this is how he really felt. So I'm sitting here laughing like, what in the holy name is this I'm, I'm just like oh my god okay I'm keeping it together I'm not going after nobody I'm staying to myself I'm behaving okay y'all know I'm behaving I'm being a good girl but that shit is crazy so I'm about to head back outside in a couple of minutes I'm not doing nothing for the rest of the day I just had this one appointment and then now I'm good so this is how your girl looking Got the dress. Oh, and let me tell you about my weight loss journey. I lost another five pounds. I'm down to 189. So, congrats to me. I'm doing the damn thing. Whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm eating is working just fine. So, they was like 50% of workout, 50% of eating. It's what you eat it and how much of it you eat in. Now that I'm in the stage that I'm in, I'm taking care of more what's on the inside and not worrying about what's on the outside and then just like my doctor said don't count numbers start looking at how you feel on the inside start looking at how you look on the outside if your inside matches your outside you're doing a hell of a good job and then she also told me to keep doing what i'm doing which is eating small meals and i'm supposed to be eating up to 20 meals a day she said I don't know, but I can't do that. So the most I can eat up to a day is about five meals, like at least little ones. So that's just my little thing and continue on my journey because everything's going to work out just fine. And I'm still going to think positive. And I can't wait for the holidays to come up because one, yes, it's the time to be fat and greedy. Two, it's the time to look good and to get everything in order because when 2021 comes everything is going to be looking amazing things is going to be 10 times better i'm speaking to existence everything's going to be better god is going to continue to have my back i continue to praise him love him and thank him for everything that i do i have a great heart 
I'm not saying this just because this is the real truth. And the more I keep going over my journey and the better results I get, the better I feel and the better my future will be. So everybody continue to pray for me, continue to love me, show me some love, um, show me some support, and I'll show y'all love right back. And I will see y'all later on. So, the moral of the whole story is, child, I'm a damn good makeup artist. So, this last look I'm wearing right now, I was sitting here thinking about my big day. Hear me out before you judge. So, I'm sitting here thinking about my very big day for when I do get married. Because, you know, your girl is going to get married regardless. So I was like, how will I do my makeup and hair if I was to get married? Just in case if my hair and makeup artist doesn't make it to the venue. I'm going to have to do everything by myself. Because you know what's funny? I have seen a whole lot of videos with females, you know, brides. Who always had their hairdressers or makeup artists cancel at the last minute. Then I saw on Brazilians how girls was constantly, like the women on there was constantly screaming, yelling, babbling. And one particular woman from the Bronx had got married on Brazilians. She was the worst Brazilian you could ever think of. Not only that she was Italian, but the fact that she had very little patience and it was her big day. So you know on your big day you're supposed to be filled with happiness, excitement, love. And you're supposed to have a little patience because not everything comes quickly when you want to. So I'm like, yo, I cannot be like that. I cannot be, be a bridezilla. So if, God forbid, if anything was to go wrong, I would know I have to correct everything myself. I would have to get things done myself. So I always got to think about that. And that's like the best tip you could give anybody else out here too. If anything was to happen on your wedding day, whether somebody is late with the flowers or late with the, you know, the hairdressers and the dresses and the decor, anything was to go wrong, you would have to pick up the pieces and fix everything. And the funny thing about it all is that the grooms, they don't never find out. Some do, but majority of the grooms don't never find out that something went wrong. Hours before the wedding. So ladies, what you really have to do is breathe. And take care of everything yourself. There's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day, this is your big day. You know how you want everything. You know how things are supposed to go. So, you got to take care of yourself like a real strong woman. So, when I was thinking about that, I was thinking about myself. And I was like, yo, what would I do if that was to happen? So, I was like, well, it's a good thing I know how to do my hair and I know how to do makeup. And I always wanted a beautiful, neutral, matte glamorous makeup okay I don't need nothing sparkling on my face or nothing just plain simple sweet romance look with the nudes so I was looking at this eyeshadow in my palette I got both of my palettes right here and I saw these two colors that really stuck out to me the most that I love I never tried this and the funny thing is this is called wedding look and it's like a beautiful pinkish beige color. It's like a neutral color with the pink base in the background. And I love it because it makes you look natural. It doesn't stick out. And it's beautiful. It goes great on all skin tones as you can see because I have seen this on plenty of the Spanish, Spanish women, Italian. And I saw a lot of weddings and one thing they all got in common is that they all love neutral styles. So I was like, you know what, it's nothing wrong with going matte, neutral, cheap, shining, love it. The highlight is the bomb. Thank you. And this is exactly what I would want to look like on my wedding day. Except for the pink hair. My hair would be black. But everything else, whoo, love. Like this camera don't do it just 
this it's like this is really pretty the color so I got this caramel look on the outside yeah tell me what y'all think this is beautiful I love it it's like you could tell I have on a little bit of makeup you can't tell I have a lot on and the funny thing is with my horrible camera you can't really see details like you can see T-cells on my damn heat bumps, but you can see you can't see details of it. So I love it. I don't know what it is. I guess I gotta have a lot of validation about the makeup before I even go out. So that's just it, and I hope y'all like this. Okay, keep pressing that notification button. Please subscribe to my channel. Please show your girls some love because your girls always coming through with everything. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all for the opportunity to let me be in y'all lives and show y'all what I'm good for. So, I can't get over this look. I love it. Like I say, love is light. Life is, light is love, okay? And same thing with God, and I'll see y'all later. Oh, and one more thing. Please, like, don't ever look at me the wrong way. Don't get me wrong. I am not about the negative stuff. I know a lot of people seen my videos and seen the past couple of weeks and everything that was going crazy. Y'all catching me in my most, I say it, the craziest moments I be having in my life right now. And now y'all looking at me in my most humblest moments and where I'm all about having fun. Like I say, it's like you got to get through the hard times in order to enjoy the good, the good times, right? It's like you can't have not, nothing happen to you. You cannot have no tragedy or anything happen to you in your life before you can have a good time, before you have something very wonderful coming your way. So this is just my way of saying that my life is not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm a human being. For y'all looking at my videos and pictures and y'all probably thinking, oh, this girl is crazy or she has a lot of drama in her life or she is so angry and depressed and all this stuff. Y'all really don't know how my life is. Y'all don't know what I'm going through. When y'all not around me, y'all don't know anything about what I'm going through or what is being told to me or what is being done to me. So this is why y'all see me at my lowest point sometimes and I express it on YouTube. Okay, but y'all about to see the good that comes out of this as well. So please, before y'all judge, talk. It's always good to talk to me. It's always good to ask questions. And look at everything that happens before you start making any judgment. That's what I got to say.